Thank you guys, and give a shout out to the, um, go follow them on YouTube, it's the Yazzie's family in, um, Vlogs, vlogs and Cookies, so, go follow them on YouTube, it's in the, they're indigenous, um, vloggers, so, let's go do it, the Yazzie family, Vlogs and Cookies, there you go. <laughs> hey, what's going on everybody, welcome to the Yazzie family vlog and cooking, my name is Assam Florida, go follow me on all social media platforms at Assam Florida or on Facebook at Makeup by Adon Arena. They call me the you Navajo makeup artist. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Sunday morning today is Sunday and today <clears throat> I like to make breakfast on weekends I worked this morning but got off super early make some breakfast uh, something really really simple uh, this one's gonna be burrito type breakfast it's gonna be a version of Chin Lee's uh, Junction Restaurants Overhouse, White House Overlook, Overlook Burrito. But I'm going to put a little twist to it. I'm going to change it up a little bit and I'm going to do it New Mexico style. It's not going to be Chinle style. So so all the Chinle people out there that love their White House Overlook Burrito, I'm going to make mine a little different. But I'm not going to use fresh tortillas. I didn't have time to make fresh tortillas. So I do have store-bought tortillas. That's the only thing about it. Um, other than that, you know, it's going to be something quick. Uh, we're not going to, yeah, something quick. And it's not too, not too bad, but I'm going to make it, I'm going to give it a little New Mexico flair. So 505 green chili. So I'll show you guys that and I'll show you guys my ingredients. So what I have here for my ingredients, I'm gonna use grandma's tortillas right there. Shout out to my grandma for making tortillas. I'm gonna use broths again because I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using white gravy. I got four eggs right there for four burritos. I got green chili here. It's not a uh, hatch green chili though. It's Anaheim. That's the only bad thing about it. I got butter. I got milk, and I got a can of Rockstar. And I'll show you guys what to use with that Rockstar. And I got two of my pots and pans right here. And I'm gonna be using this in an air fryer. So I'm gonna use that in the air fryer instead of on top of my stove. I'm gonna roast that, peel it, cut it up, and I'll show you guys what to do with it. So I got my Anaheim peppers in the air fryer. I got two baskets. I'm only gonna use one basket. Air fry. We'll go 400. And I got it going for 20 minutes. So that is going to do its thing. And then we're going to start on this side. And I'll show you what to prep again. As I was getting my stuff prepped and getting this ready, I forgot I need potatoes. I got four potatoes right here, russet potatoes. So I'm gonna use these. This was the main event right there. I forgot all about it. So you're gonna need four potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the skins off these potatoes.
pouring in some cold water. So I'm gonna heat this one up. I'm gonna get this one going because I'm gonna use this one. That's medium heat. Oil here, I'm gonna fill it halfway. I'm gonna kind of do it like a deep frying method. Well, not halfway, probably about a quarter of the way. So that's gonna heat up. I'm gonna rinse this off. Make sure the water's clear and then I'll put it in here. Oh, and it's. You guys want to know what I was going to do with this? That's an ingredient right here for me. But we're going to prep all this. I'll show you guys. I'm going to rinse that and make sure this gets hot. That's the volume. Halfway there. So what I got now is after I rinsed it, washed it, let it soak. I got it on this uh, cooking sheet right here, a paper towel, got another paper towel, and I'm gonna dry it out. Try and take out as much liquid as I can because of the moisture, because it's gonna be going in that. That's how much oil I got in there. So you don't want to mix water with oil. You guys ever hear that term to check if your oil is ready? You can put a chopstick or a piece of stick in there. So I got a skewer. You see it bubbling? Then you know your oil's ready. So we're gonna put those potatoes in here. to help me so I don't just throw it in the wheel. And it's starting to stop. So it's doing this thing right now. Should be about two batches. Okay, just got the notification. It's good. Green chili is done. So. Got that. That one's going. that out. So now when you see your potatoes, the hash, when it starts floating to the top, and then you know they're done. So we're going to go ahead and transfer this over to our baking sheet that has a paper towel on there. Just be careful with hot oil. Okay. So let's check on our green chili now, our Anaheim.
I take that out. <clears throat> Time for the sausage. some flour right here I'm going to add into this mixture so now that I'm done with the eggs I got four eggs there so I just got done finished cooking that I got some butter right here so much butter I'm putting in Get that melting. And then I'm gonna throw in the same chili. Season that one with a bit of garlic salt. Just a dash. And some paprika. Just a little bit. Got the gravy on the side as you can see. That one's done now. Thickened up, it did its magic on that side. I had it on low heat. Smell the chili. Now I'm going to prep it. Got something. Now you guys can put <clears throat> the sausage in there if you want, but I chose to make it as a whole gravy. You guys can put um, cheese in here if you want. Just fold it up. 
You guys can do anything. Onions. Jalapenos. Green chilies right there. <clears throat> and I just ask the guys about it. You guys want cheese? And this is the star of the show right here. Besides the potatoes. That's the White House Overlook, but they don't have chili in theirs. I'm sure they put their sausage in the middle. I didn't do that, just the potatoes and the egg. And I guess I call this the 505 Red Rock Overlook Burrito. So it's something different from Chili's Junction Restaurant. need to get someone to taste this. Hold on. Oh, hey guys. There it's done. She's gonna get a knife and Sue, my lovely wife, is gonna test this out. Mmm. It looks really good. This is really good all around. The gravy is good as always. <clears throat> I think this is my favorite breakfast burrito. Delicious. There you guys have it. You know, that was our version of Chinle, Arizona's Junction Restaurant's uh, White House Overlook Burrito. So I added green chili, so it's a 505 burrito now. Sorry, I just woke up, but I was cleaning, and he needed a taste tester. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> occupied right now, so Sunday morning, what can you say? And other than that, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the 400 again. Yes, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe if you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed. Okay, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you. We'll Bye. See Bye.